Now let's move on to the second use case where send an email whenever a user registers on the app. This is to just get notified for new signups. We already wrote a rule in Auth0 to sync the user's data from Auth0 to the Postgres database. This is an insert operation on table users. Hasra lets you configure to invoke webhooks on database events like the insert operation on particular table. In this example, whenever a new row is inserted into the user's table, we are going to trigger a webhook which will send an email. We are going to make use of SendGrid's SMTP email API using the node mailer node module. Now let's see how the webhook has been written. We will have to configure SMTP login, SMTP password and the host credentials to send in this email. Now let me deploy this webhook on Glitch. I will remix the project. And I need to enter credentials for the SMTP which is the login, password, host, sender address, and receiver address. So let's go ahead and create this credential from SendGrid. Right. Now let's go to the settings and generate a new API key for the event webhook that we are going to write. I'll name the API key as let's say API key and give restricted access for sending emails. Let me click on create and get the API key. Copy this API key and use it in the next step. Let's go to the glitch deployment and update the environment variables. The login will be API key and the password will be the token that was just created. Host would be smtp.sendgrid.net. We also need to give the sender and receiver address. So let the sender address be praveen.hasa.io and the receiver address, let the receiver address be praveen plus learn at hasra.io. Alright, now let's look at the app logs to see if it's running correctly. 